fellow officers honor a slain police officer, an emotional tribute in North St. Paul. It was a final farewell to the police officer killed in the line of duty this week. Richard Crittenden was killed Monday while responding to a domestic dispute. In a heroic struggle to protect a woman and her daughter, Crittenden's gun was taken away and used to kill him. Bill Hudson attended the funeral that included hundreds of officers from across the state. Covered badges in a sea of squads captured the somber mood sweeping North St. Paul. Officers, first responders, family and friends came to mourn and honor a brave man who fell in the line of duty. They marched in tight lines and stood in solemn tribute. A police honor belt rang 16 times for the years Officer Rick Crittenden wore the badge. Thank you, Rick, for letting me be your friend. I love you like a brother, but much, and I'll miss you. We will all miss you so very, very much. Crittenden was eulogized as a motorcycle cop who loved to ride, his jacket now draping the handlebars. Family members described the softer side, but it was close friend and colleague, Sergeant Charles Kunkel, who touched on the sadness of it all. Each day he came prepared, knowing it may be his last. Who would have ever thought Rick Crittenden would give the ultimate sacrifice? As his widow and family led mourners outside, a final tribute would follow as Crittenden's ashes and black banded squad made one last trip through the city he served so courageously. Now, the death of a police officer, of course, goes far beyond any single department. It's felt throughout the entire law enforcement enforcement community. That, of course, explains why departments from as far away as International Falls and Ely made the long drive to pay their final respects. It's always so touching to see that kind of see support all like all those law enforcement yeah. officers out there. All right, Bill. Thank you. Sure. For miles and miles, people lined the streets. Hundreds and hundreds of officers came from across the state, as Bill told us. The procession for Officer Crittenden drove by a huge American flag on the school. Another flag on top of the giant snowman, the symbol of North St. Paul. The procession passed by some of Crittenden's favorite spots. It was a moving tribute to the slain policeman. Heather Brown has more of the community honoring their hero. They lined up hours ahead of time. They didn't want to miss their brief moment. He's a very good man. He kept our neighbors safe. To wish their officer Rick farewell. I knew him from driving up and down the street. He used to wave every time he'd come by. And I just, I thought I just really needed to be here to kind of wave goodbye to him. Rita Palmer stood in her driveway with her daughter and grandson. Thank you, Officer Rick. Across the street from 2,000 North St. Paul High students, they were silent as the five-minute, half-mile procession passed outside their school. The line continued past the police department headquarters before heading into the heart of North St. Paul. Past the bar Newman's, where Officer Rick checked in every week. And he would come in and he'd look at my hair and he goes, what'd you do, scare yourself? Past full throttle custom cycles, the motorcycle cop's bike shop. Uh, he'd have been very honored to know it was for him, to know that this kind of crowd turned out to see him. Even the apartment complex where he died put out flags along the route. It was a sign of respect, but for some, not really a goodbye. I'm not even sure it's really settled in, you know, it's sunk in yet. Because you get the feeling Officer Rick will live on in North St. Paul. Officer Crittenden touched the lives of many people, many who will really miss him. St. Paul Squad, 3933, badge 933, is 10-7. And with that last call, the tribute to Officer Crittenden came to a close. Because of the tragic death of Officer Crittenden, the community of North St. Paul will hold a prayer service next week. It'll be next Wednesday at the Church of St. Peter, starting at 7 p.m. Tearful goodbye to a police officer who died saving others. Good evening. I'm Bill Lund. I'm Leah McLean. Officers came from across the Midwest to say thank you to Officer Richard Crittenden for his service. 4,000 people packed the Aldrich Arena in Maplewood for today's funeral. Officer Crittenden died responding to a domestic disturbance call on Monday. Today, he was remembered as a humble man who loved his family, his community, and his job. I've often asked Rick why he just didn't retire, and his response was always the same. 
I'm not ready yet, brother. I'm still like catching the bad guys. While the funeral was going on inside, thousands lined the streets outside to pay their respects to Officer Crittenden. Brad, Brad Satin was outside with them. Brad? Still a tough day for a lot of folks. The death of this officer in this small town is touching people in different ways. So many knew Officer Crittenden personally, and for those who didn't, they didn't have to look very far to feel the loss. A sea of lights as hundreds of squad cars made their way down 7th Avenue in North St. Paul. It hurts a lot. A final tribute to Officer Richard Crittenden, who in his nine years on the force seemed to have touched so many people, like Jeff Berkeley, whose father made the ultimate sacrifice years earlier as a Minneapolis firefighter. A guy that had something nice to say to you, give you a hard time if he knew you a little bit, and um, it's going to be a, a big loss. And Lois Schroeder, whose daughter lived in the apartment complex where Officer Crittenden was killed. She considered him the ultimate crime fighter. He was wonderful to everyone, the children, everyone he touched. He was Superman. From the woman whose niece is a police officer. And I think of her every day going out and risking her life. To the mom whose son serves in the Navy. Anybody who goes around and risks their lives every day, you know, deserves a little something. A big something at North High School. A massive flag was draped over the school in Officer Crittenden's honor. He often counseled students there, and then students poured out to greet the procession. And signs were everywhere, promising that this 57-year-old husband, father, and grandfather, who was honored with a 21-gun salute and the playing of taps, would not be forgotten. I've lived in this area for over 40 years, and I've never seen anything so sad. Officer Crittenden was cremated. His wife will hold on to his urn. It's what he wanted, so there was no burial today. Reporting live, Brad Satin, 5 Eyewitness News. All right, Brad, thank you. And you can make a donation to Officer Crittenden's memorial fund at any Anchor Bank location. I'm a police officer. You join a brotherhood for life. This week, North St. Paul police officer Richard Crittenden gave his life in the brotherhood. Did not forget this day. In a packed ice arena, police officers from across the state honored his service and his sacrifice. Crittenden was shot and killed on Monday, responding to a domestic call. Fox 9's Rob Olson is live in Maplewood with more on how Crittenden is remembered. Rob? Tim, uh, the funerals for police officers, as you well know, are unique in several ways. One is the sheer size of them, that police officers will come from surrounding states even to pay their respects. And the other is that complete strangers will also come out to say goodbye to someone that they probably never even met. It really broke my heart that we lost a very strong police officer here in our little town of North St. Paul. Snaking through some of Officer Richard Crittenden's favorite parts of North St. Paul, past City Hall where he worked. And he took such good care of all of us, and now he's gone. Down the main street he served and passed hundreds of people who came out to watch. It's pretty important for me to come out and pay my respects today. The traditional police funeral procession, law enforcement from all over the country and the state. At North High School, hundreds of students came from class to take it in and to give respect to the first officer ever lost in the line of duty in this small St. Paul suburb. Uh, what do you really say when you lose someone to such a senseless act like this? Crittenden's memorial would need a different suburb, nearly filling Maplewood's Aldrich Arena. Some 4,000 people, more than half of them in uniform. Each day he came prepared, knowing it may be his last. Who would have ever thought Rick Crittenden would give the ultimate sacrifice? He was remembered as a man who had a passion for police work, but bigger passion for his grandkids, his son and daughter, his wife. He loved you with all his heart. And what a huge heart he had. The final salute would come outside as an Army veteran who served in Vietnam. He got full military honors as an officer lost in the line of duty, an emotional send-off known as the final call. St. Paul Squad, 3933, badge 933, is 10-7. Tour. That's always a very emotional moment whenever you cover a police funeral. Now, uh, Officer Crittenden was not buried today. Instead, he was cremated, and that had nothing to do with how he lost his life, but rather was a previous arrangement between he and his wife.